Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Mr. Cameron, who is from the Ministry of Interior, Kurdistan. Thank you very much for joining me. Start by telling me about the developments in identity and security specific to Kurdistan. Sure, thank you for this meeting. And uh, really, you know, like, Iraq and we are one part of Iraq, the Kurdistan region government is one part of Iraq. We have a big challenge for the security against terrorism and organized crime as well. Sure, in our ministry in uh, Kurdistan region government, we could to, could to keep a very good security in the country. It's not like south and middle of Iraq. You see in the TV and in the news every day is car bomb in middle or center Baghdad. So, but in, we have three cities, what is below KRG or Kurdistan region government. The security is very, very good. And when you have a security very good also, it's coming a lot of companies toward there. They invest money and the business is going well. Uh, Airbnb like is capital of the Kurdistan in flowing day by day. A lot of expertise of the economic, they said maybe it's next Dubai in uh, Orient. Uh, about security, sure, we use a lot of technology in our security, like we have a best laboratory for a for forensic laboratory in all Iraq. By help of United States and State Department, they built this and they train us. We use biometric also in the airport and in the uh, checkpoint on the border and so on. This is also is help to catch a lot of criminal or the wanted or terrorism by our database. We have biometric in our database is helpful. And we have two international airport also. We have this technology in there. Only this year we catch about 187 criminals. They have uh, thick passport and residency, so technology has helped a lot mm. in our job. Plus also we use uh, DT500 cocaine for explosion and narcotic to discover the explosion. We put in the board and the board between Iran and Kurdistan and Turkey also. And this is by this cocaine we, we could to stop the terrorists to bring explosive inside of our, mm. so, our country and plus we could to stop the narcotic also. Sure, uh, we started to put our the technology and in infrastructure in our ministry in 2003, you know, and we started step by step because the technology is need money, resources, training, mm. and we make step by step. Sure, we don't use all technology in the world. I don't think anybody, anybody in country in the world, but by this technology, what we do it, we could keep a security in the country. Sure, a lot of people, uh, they ask about Iraq and Afghanistan, special mm -hmm. Iraq, you know, there is a lot of challenge to fight the terrorism yeah. also. And a lot of people, uh, the foreign people who is working in, in Erbil or in Kurdistan, they ask how KRG or Ministry of Interior, they could keep security in north of Iraq, mm. what we call Kurdistan, but the rest of Iraq is not secure. Sure, the answer of these questions, there is a lot of factor. I think the first is loyalty of the citizen for there is government mm -hmm. and there is country. In Kurdistan region, every citizen is police. Okay. And he give all information if he's seen. Crime, terrorism, they call the, in our forces and we know how we do it. The second, the technology, what we use it also in our directories, different directories, is help us to keep the security. The third also, the training, what the, we do it in USA and a lot of European country right. to train our police. And this is, they come back, they train, we call mm. train for trainers, like program. Also, they affect in the security. Plus the leading ship also, you know. Mm the management and how they make a plan against terrorism mm -hmm. and so this is 24 hours they work hard and by this way we could to keep the security sure yeah. there is another factor small factor also inside but it's not now yeah. in mind yeah and this way we could uh, to protect 
our country against terrorism. And I think terrorism also is international war. There is no country is there is mm. no risk to be attacked. But I can guarantee how our country is is secure from 2003 until now, mm. until today. No American, no foreign no. Co uh, foreign people is be killed or injured in our country. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. we wanted I'm to sure. keep this record. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's important to you. Yeah. And it's it's a bigger challenge, not just in terms of what you have to do, but in terms of publicity, because your neighbour or because Iraq and Afghanistan are close, and those those relationships. So, is um, international expectation higher for Kurdistan than for anywhere else? Do you think? Oh, now we have you know because of the security is good. You know the security is economy is re related to security. Which country they don't have a good security? No the investment. development is okay. Yeah. Because our security is, is very well. A huge number of company they come in. A lot of. Only in Arabia we have eight thousand co foreign company they work over all the world. Yeah. Now we don't have only tourist challenge. You know. Now we have another crime what is not uh, we are not family with them before it's finance crime for right. example because our town is extension development extension mm. is coming uh, or the prostitute right. or the to sell the women and so on. this we don't have and therefore now we study how we make more training and mm. we get expert experience for another country also or narcotic before we don't have narcotic yeah. now this crime is a new crime when the society and development and the, the country is being developed. Yeah. It's coming a new, new crime in our country, what are, we don't know what, how we work it with. Therefore, we open a lot of section in the, our ministry and we send to the European country and to what they have, country they have expert yeah. experience on. And we wanted to train our, because like cyber crime now in, in Kurdistan is exists before. We don't have internet, we don't have anything. From 2003 until now, we have a lot of internet crime also. Right. This crime also now is a big challenge for us. Mm. Uh, our ministry uh, work on. Yeah. And this is a new for <coughs> us. Yeah, yeah, so new challenges. And I think um, it sounds like there is a very integrated security system, a good security system. And the point that you make, which is really good, I think, is the link between security, investment, and development. And if yeah. you don't have these, you can't invest back in security. And plus, because we are in one conference of technology mm. and so, all time I said to a lot of our friends who is help us in technology, like State Department, like the European Union, so, you know, I said, it's not only equipment and technology, it's needed training. It's like mathematic equation. Yeah. If you be you give me a equipment without training, the equation yeah. is equal zero. If you give me training without equipment, equal zero. The equipment plus plus training. Training, you got results. Yeah. And this is in the beginning we have little problem because a lot of countries they help us by technology, not training. I yeah. said, look. Yeah. We cannot we get benefit. Yeah. Or we get training in, uh, and not the in USA, they coming, we don't have this modern equipment in our country. After yeah. three months, the, the, yeah. our officer, they forget what yeah. they learn. Yeah. Therefore, I said, technology plus training. Yeah. Then you can uh, get, get result. And technology is playing, or, or playing a big role in the security. Yeah. Yeah. In, uh, in all directory. Yeah. Absolutely. Mr. Cameron, thank you very much for You're joining welcome. me. Thanks for talking thank and you, enjoy sir. the rest of the thank event. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you.